how to find those altcoins that have the potential to 10, 20, or even 100x. Now, in today's video, I'm going to go through step by step on how to find those altcoins that have great potential. And later on, I'm going to explain why an altcoin 100x's and much more. So stay tuned and definitely watch the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. Now, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today and join the Crypto Busy family. And also, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And comment down below your thoughts and opinions. They are also very much appreciated. So with that all being said, guys, I'm going to set the scene, set the stage as to why an altcoin 100x is where we are at when it comes to cryptocurrency as an asset class and where can we go from here. So first of all, let me just start off with this. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice and investments can go down as well as up. There's no guarantee that these sort of things can happen. But importantly, the information I'm going to go through right now is again setting the stage of where we can get and find those 100x old coins but where we are as an asset class uh, as cryptocurrency we are minute we are nothing compared to the traditional asset classes such as precious metals the stock markets and real estate so you can see that gold here right now gold it has a market cap of 11 trillion dollars 11 trillion dollars that is one entity that is one thing out of an asset class you know bitcoin right now has a market cap of around 380 billion dollars so completely nowhere near as to where gold is right now and silver that is again one trillion dollars so silver's market cap is as large if not larger right now than the whole of the cryptocurrency market cap um, and and i think that when i see those sort of stats those sort of statistics when I see that sort of things, that excites me for the future for what crypto has as a potential. I think we have now established, well established, crypto has well established itself as a major force in the world, as a major force of you know governments, regulators trying to get to grips with how they're going to tackle uh, inflation and any other things in terms of the crises at the moment and how to get to grips with cryptocurrency. And that is a big thing. So we're definitely here to stay, but it's a question of when these sort of things will happen. And when that capital flows into the market when that capital flows uh from gold from the stock market or even you know from anywhere else into the cryptocurrency markets when we get that green light from regulators and governments to invest in cryptocurrency uh, such as for the institutions and institu the institutions they're ready to go once they get that green light then we're going to be seeing a lot of capital flow into the market there is an interest mastercard are partnering uh with a few cryptocurrency exchanges they're trying to create uh you know sort of a fiat to bitcoin and bitcoin to fiat uh on ramp and off ramp all that sort of great stuff that's happening so that is super important for where we are at uh, as a cryptocurrency class now the next thing is how to find those 100x altcoins. Now, most of the cryptocurrencies that you see right now on coin market cap in the top 10, maybe you've actually in the top 100, pushing even the top 150, they have been heavily, heavily discounted compared to what happened over a year ago. Now, now what we saw last year in 2021 was an amazing time for cryptocurrency. Um, but I think at that point, uh, cryptocurrency or crypto overall, that crypto bubble that we saw last year was caught up in what we saw last year as well with the rise in the stock market and also the real estate bubble that we saw as well. And we're now paying uh, the price of what we have seen with quantitative easing and other you know government money injections into the markets over the past two years we're now paying that price um, and so i do think that cryptocurrency was caught up in that wave in that sort of spiral in that tornado whatever you like to call it um, and it is also getting paying the price what we saw previous years in sort of 2017 2018 was a completely different cycle uh, compared to what we saw uh, you know in 2021 what we saw in 2017 was cryptocurrency in the of itself going up in value which is amazing to see and i do think as we get into 2023 and especially into 2024 that is where we're going to be seeing a next bull run and in that next bull run we will be seeing uh, some more 100x old coins but that is the important thing as well guys those 100x old coins are far and few between so the thing you may you know maybe watching this video for or trying to find that 100x old coin they're very rare that is why they get the media attention that is why you get those stories those famous stories of this well you know 100x old coin there's a thousand x old coin they're very rare to find but what's important to note is why they 100x and the reason why they 100x is ultimately to do with the network effect but also because of the fundamentals behind a particular project so again, there's many different factors as to why an altcoin does really well. Why 10x's, 100x's, maybe even 1,000x's. 
ultimately it is to do with the network effect but also down to what's been happening behind the scenes what's happening with the team the white paper the roadmap are they delivering on their promises and then also the community that is super important the community behind the project is also super important it's the same with any sort of stock or any sort of company you know there is a loyal or you know there's a massive loyalty towards apple because for some reason they managed to market their their products much better than everybody else and so therefore you know they have a massive cult following it's the same in this in the crypto markets so it just happens to be that there's cult followings you know or like thereof in the crypto markets it's the same in the real world as well in when you have a look at you know let's say apple or even microsoft or even samsung as well you know sort of different groups trying to find their niche and that is super important so binance labs uh, they've launched season four of its incubation program with 14 early stage startups so that is also another thing whenever there is a massive push or, or you know a backing behind a particular project let's say they, a project has partnered with uh, another cryptocurrency or let's say a, an investment bank to have said that we're interested in this and we're going to be investing in this as well that is where we're seeing a good thing happen for an altcoin and that has the potential to do even more in the future so that's super important now again how to find those 100x altcoins i'll leave this article linked down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail it breaks it down and i think again as i mentioned earlier you have to understand the cycle that we're in right now and the psychology of a market cycle last year we saw a bit of thrill i don't think we saw euphoria last year which is why i think we didn't see the top of the market last year we didn't see that euphoric sort of run up in price um yes you could you could sort of spread it out over the course of a few months but that sort of massive massive run up in price that's what we saw in 2017 going into 2018 that's where it just sort of spiked nearly to twenty thousand dollars and then crashed heavily from there we didn't really see that it's sort of a slowdown in the bull run that we saw going in from 2021 to 22 and i think at this point now we're probably in sort of the, the anger and depression stage and i think maybe even sort of a disbelief if we see another rally uh, from now until this time next year um, so that is super important of understanding the market psychology and you probably heard this before the millionaires the billionaires are made in the bear markets so whenever you have seen bear markets in the past let's say a traditional one such as the 2008 financial crisis um, that is where you saw a few investors here and there investing heavily into the stock market because they know and they realize that even including the great depression the stock market has returned an average of eight percent per year so it's a long-term perspective when it comes to these sort of things and understanding that you're not going to be specifically finding that 100x old coin but applying those factors that is where you're going to be finding old coins that are going to do really well in the future um and then this is also another article i found really interesting how to spot an old coins uh, price spike again goes into much further detail of where the volume is going into so the crypto volume the amount of volume that's going into the market if there is a price spike in a particular altcoin or a cryptocurrency or let's say um, you know with bitcoin uh, if there's a low volume but the price is spiking then that has the potential to crash down into a lower level because there's not that volume to back it up that is also super important so hopefully it made sense in today's video if there's anything that i've uh, missed out on or you want me to clarify on as well um, do comment down below again some examples of altcoins that are going to do really well in the future and i think going into uh you know next year as well you have to look at those altcoins that are or cryptocurrency projects that are doubling down on their efforts right now so which are the cryptocurrencies that are upgrading the network so they're continuing their deployment of their network itself that those are the ones that can be doing really well so just to run off a few examples you know xrp uh, cardano algorand um, and many others as well even ethereum these are going to be ones that are not going to be specifically let's say 100x but they're ultimately going to be doing really well in the future because they're setting themselves up for success in the future if you want a separate video talking about 100x altcoin potential you know, specific type of videos where I go through some altcoins that I think have the possibility or the potential to 100x, do also comment down below. But then again, the caveat with that is it's not guaranteed. As much as we go through projects that have you know great potential, again, you can get these black swan events that can completely wipe out the market. So it is also taking into account those sort of risks. And that is why I want to leave that thought there with you guys. So again, do comment down below thoughts and opinions. If you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today and join the Crypto Busy family. Leave a like on this video. It's very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.